Hey everyone, my name is Aastha Chauhan. Welcome to the Tutorials Point. In the previous video, we have learned all about the supervised learning, and in this video, we are going to talk about the KNN algorithm. So let's see what's in for you in this video. We are going to look at why KNN, how do we choose the factor k, how does KNN algorithm work, when do we use KNN algorithm, and what are the limitations of the KNN. So let's first see why KNN. K nearest neighbor algorithm is a simple yet powerful machine learning algorithm, and we can use this in two types of problems that is, classification and regression. Now, there is a factor k on the basis of which we do all the predictions in KNN algorithm. So it's very important to choose the right value of k. How? Let's understand this with this example. Consider this question mark is the new variable. Now we have to predict whether this belongs to the rectangle category or triangle category. So, if I consider the value of k as 3, then there are two rectangles and one triangle. So, in this case, it will belong to the rectangle category. And if I consider the value of k as 7, then there are three rectangles and four triangles. That means, in this case, it will belong to the triangle category. I hope now you are able to understand why choosing the right value of k is so important. And the process of choosing the right value of k is called parameter tuning. Generally, we take the square root of n, where n is the total number of data points, and we always consider the odd value of k to avoid the tiebreakers. Now, let's understand how does the KNN algorithm work with this example. Consider there are two categories, category A and category B. Now, we have to determine whether this new data point belongs to the category A or category B. Now, we need the value of k. So, assume for this case, the value of k is 5. Now, we have to calculate the distance between this new data point and the given data points. So, the next question is, how do we calculate the distance between two data points? So, for that, we use Euclidean distance, which says, the distance between the point A, x1, y1 and point B, x2, y2 is given as under root x2 minus x1 to the whole square plus y2 minus y1 to the whole square. So that's how we are going to calculate the distance between the new data point and rest of the given data points. So after calculating the distance between the new data point and the other given data points, we can observe that we have three neighbors from category A and two neighbors from category B. That means this new data point belongs to the category A. Now let's see when do we use KNN algorithm. So we use KNN algorithm when data is labeled, data is noise free and data set is a small. KNN algorithm is a lazy algorithm so it works well when the data set is a small. Now let's see what are the limitations of KNN. KNN does not perform well on huge data set, it is sensitive to arc liars and it is also sensitive to the missing values. So that was it for this video. We have already covered the supervised learning algorithm, KNN algorithm in this video and in the next video we are going to discuss about the decision tree and all the machine learning algorithms in further videos. So stay tuned with tutorials point. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.